Yo, what's going on? It's your boy D-Man. You already know. Bringing to you a nice little domination gameplay. Even though it's not the full gameplay, I just kind of cut it in half. And I know on Twitter I said I was going to put out like a UFC 3 video on kind of what I want to see. Kind of like a wish list, but it's kind of too late for that. It's the 8th, and the game comes out on the 14th. So, no point in that. I'll just wait till the game comes out and review it and just see how I like it. Now, hopefully they changed a few things, but... If you don't know, I did have an opportunity uh, opportunity to post on Thunder Second Channel, and if you did come over for Thunder Second Channel, you know I, I highly appreciate it. Hopefully you're not disappointed. And it was a bunch of mixed reviews, you know. Of course, I read all the comments. I'm pretty sure I don't know if you post on somebody else's channels, are you kind of nervous to read the comments? You know, I'm kind of excited to see the other comments because it gives feedback, you know, criticism, whether it's good or bad, and so. Of course, there's areas on this where I can always grow, and a lot of people pointed that out. Um, one dude said that the mic was too close to my mouth and he could hear the breathing or whatever. And I simply think that that's because I don't have a pop filter. So I need to get a pop filter, and I know that. And I actually got to go back and go back and thank all those people for watching it uh, too. So I'm gonna actually do that after this game. And of course, there's negative ones. I don't really remember remember those. Maybe I don't want to remember them. That's why. Um, one dude was like, "Yo, man, you born as hell. Ooh, you a cookie cutter, you know? Typical comments and stuff like that." But it is what it is, you know. I'm not going to change my style just to change my style, you know. If I'm a cookie cutter, I'm a cookie cutter. If I'm not, I'm not. It all depends on preference. And you see right here. You know, I tried to make the right decision because I just didn't want to shoot, try to shoot both of them, especially when they didn't know I was there. And it's all good because the other dude ended up dying anyway. But you see right here, look look how I died, man. Just wait. Why did that explode? Like, I don't understand. They did. <laughs> I think Modern Warfare 3, they did that on purpose. They saw me kind of going ham. So they was like, you know, we got to stop this right now. And you see me raging right there. That's not the first time I raged since Modern Warfare 2 in its prime. And that's simply because Modern Warfare, for well, any first person shooter game, I don't expect much of it anymore. And so I don't get mad when I die a certain way. Like in Modern Warfare 2, if I got a new tube over and over again, it's just like, well, it is Modern Warfare 2. And on Black Ops or any other first person shooter game, if I get killed by a camper, it's like, well, well, you know, everybody don't rush around, so I can't get mad at them. You know, I give everybody the benefit of the doubt. And so when I saw, I don't know, I just feel like I wasn't supposed to die right there. That was just messed up. <laughs> but I, I think... I'm one of the few people that still kind of enjoy Modern Warfare 3 simply because I understand the fact that I'm going to get screwed over a lot. And so when you accept that, you know, it's a better experience. And that's kind of how life is. When you realize that everything isn't going to go your way, life isn't supposed to be easy. When you realize those two things, what's up, Fantana? When you realize those two things, you know, life becomes easier. Well, that's how I felt, you know, once I sat down and thought about it. Because sometimes I like overstress about things. I'm like, man, why are things going this way? But, you know, it is what it is. That's for another commentary. And it's funny because a lot of y'all, <laughs> a lot of y'all like that high school commentary I did. And they was like, yo, do you have more stories? Of course I have more stories, man. Y'all thought, look at this. Hold up, watch this. Straight from the Predator Overwatch. That's what's up. But it's crazy because I've been having a fear, not a fear, but I thought I was going to get jumped more than once like y'all heard that in my last commentary where i thought i was gonna get jumped um it's a couple times at unt i thought i was gonna get jumped one time was for my uh beats boy get off me you not grizz one time was for my beats and the other time i thought it was gonna be for my subway sandwich no lie um you can ask chris balling you know chris balling was on the headset when i left and when i came back i told him the whole story but maybe i'll tell y'all the story one day who knows but you see me right here I'm just waiting it out because I'm one off my prayer missile. You know, like I said, I don't like to run around when I'm one off a kill streak. Even if it's low kill streak, fall back. Even when it's low kill streak. And look, I'm sending all these dudes back to their Pokeball. <laughs> these dudes just couldn't touch me for some, some, some reason. It's crazy. But like I said, lag compensation was on my side this game. You know, you can tell when lag compensation is on your side. Because when you're doing things like this, you know, you getting your gun up before they probably even see you. Then... It's, it is what it is. Like I said, whenever I do good in this game, it's, I always feel lucky for some reason. And that's probably because I am, you know. So, I think I'm about to take a death right here. Yeah, look at this death. I lied. I'm not about to take a death. 
but it was dead man's hand so you know i would have been surprised if i died but as i was saying you know, i just got completely off topic you know i have a lot more stories that i probably put out once a week probably on Mm, what day should I do it? I should make a new series for this because I do have a lot of stories. So probably Fridays. Yeah, I'll do it Fridays. I'll put out um some stories for y'all so y'all can laugh at me and stuff. Cause I actually get myself into into some situations, and I'm not sure why. You know, everybody does it. You know, everybody makes those type of mistakes. So you see me? I, I honestly thought about killing myself right there just to get that dude. But um, anyways, you know, this streak is about to come to an end thanks to martyrdom you know a death streak which i just don't understand but you know it is what it is hopefully y'all enjoyed this commentary and i'll talk to you later peace